Hello again everyone, welcome to my channel. I am working in my art journal slash address book again today. And the first thing I do is using a white heavy gesso for the edges because there's going to be um, a piece of scrapbook paper on top of it so it wasn't necessary to cover the whole page but I wanted the edges covered because they will show a bit and here I have glued down a piece of scrapbook paper and again I have taken out the heavy white gesso to add uh, a thin coat on the page. Uh, I'm not covering the whole page, just some parts of it. And now I am gluing down some bits and pieces. This is a piece of lace and I'm also going to use some paper strips like a grid paper and book text paper. And I'm gluing that all down with the Mod Podge and I'm using my uh, spatula which is actually uh, a silicon spatula you use to dye your hair so and these work perfectly for uh, glue and paint as well And this is some fabric I got and uh, it had some beautiful teal flowers on it so I got cut a few out and I am applying that to my page. Also was a little border uh, in the fabric cloth and um, I cut a piece out and I'm using my tool to distress the, the edges a bit and to tear out some of the fibers. Using the Stazon Yet Black ink pad for stamping, and uh, these are stamps with um, this one was from Craft Sensations, I believe. I got this one from Action, and this is actually a frame, but I'm using parts of it to stamp on my page. And the other one I'm going to use in a minute is a stamp. Uh, really great stamp with all the script uh, on it but it has no brand name Now I am taking the golden gel medium and I am going to take some uh, out and uh, blending it with some glitter so the gel medium will dry up clear so the glitter will remain I hope and I'm using a stencil by Craft Emotions and I believe this is the fantasy circles 
So on the right you see the the little paste I made from the gel medium with the glitter. It didn't turn out quite as nice as I hoped it, but it's okay. And this is a dilution spray, the Calypso Teal. And that is a, a much vibrant color, which uh, was better to use on my page. And because of the fabric flowers have a bit of brown, I am using the vintage photo from Distress also to give it a bit more balance and this color was really needed on this page. Now I didn't like the left top part all that much and I use a homemade white gesso spray to uh, light it up a bit. So for this I like to give a special thanks to Nick for all these yummy rusty metal goodies. Thank you, Nick. So I'm adding these uh, bits of metal pieces with a gel medium and um, the little frames will hold the little the quote that I uh, use and that is just saying. Usually I would use my glue gun for these things, but I found that the gel medium, uh, the, the thicker one, is, uh, works actually better. It takes a while for it to grab onto the surface, but um, it holds just as well as the glue gun, uh, the hot glue does. using a tooth stick, how you call such a thing, for uh, removing some of the glue blobs. This is actually eyeliner, an eyeliner pencil. And it is very, very soft because with a few strokes of that pen, the, the point is all gone. But it works quite uh, good for shadowing. So this is a brown eyeliner, which I use around the rusty metal bits to add some shadow. And this is my black charcoal pencil to go around the edges of the, the paper I put on there.
and that's really it. Uh, in a minute I will gate my page with the Stazon Jet Black ink pad and my page is ready. Thanks again for watching. I hope you like it. Please comment, like, subscribe and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.